Samson Yuri Cobb used to be a car mechanic, but then he was given a chance to become involved at rhino protection. Initially, he was asked to fix the cars of uh, Europeans who came to study the rhinos. And then he was given a chance to become involved on a very different level, and now he has a new career. He obtained a master's degree in wildlife biology from Cambridge University in the UK, and now he manages the Save the Rhino Trust. It's amazing. Black rhinos are gone from most of Southern Africa. The last best stronghold for them in the wild is probably in Namibia. And Damara land in northwest Namibia is the only place where desert adapted rhinos can roam free, not hemmed in by any fences. And that's where we went, hoping to catch a glimpse of them. We headed out one morning to search for them with Simpson and his trackers. We searched for half a day and then... Okay, uh, okay, go. Okay. Found it. They found the rhino? Yes. All right. Okay. The trackers found the rhinos, and we can see it in a distance. It's asleep under a U4 bush, and now we're going to determine how we can best approach it. One thing is, if it looks like a rhino charge, yeah. try and get out of sight, which means go behind the bush, and, and you can even behind the bush and stop, don't move. OK. Yeah, that's the best thing to do. And what if you cannot get out of sight because there's no bushes nearby? Where do you do that? You run like hell. Okay. <laughs> well, Simpson, that was great. Oh, yes. We saw her uh, and her calf, uh, and we didn't get chased. <laughs> yes. Uh. So? It can happen. Yeah. <laughs> so when you go out tracking rhinos on foot in a small party, you look very carefully at the other people in the group and size up who's going to be the slowest. 